Vibe don't say my love. Hey, hey, my loves. What's going on, my lovies, my soul tribe, my family? Hey, y'all, hey. I hope you guys are doing well, feeling amazing, just like me. And if you're not, I hope my high vibrations and my positive energy, my love, and my light help you feel a whole lot better. It's all about raising your vibrations so I can see you elevate. I love hearing your good testimonials and all the good stories that you had for me about you overcoming an obstacle or doing real, real good, okay? I like when y'all say, oh, no, no, <laughs> they can try again and all that stuff too. That is so funny. But um, hi, y'all. I hope y'all feeling good. Let's go ahead and dive in. What we're about to do is do a reading to see what your person is thinking about you and what you may be thinking about your person. We're going to check the energy between you two. Then we're going to clarify these cards. Um, and we're going to look a little bit more into the situation and see what else is surrounding you besides their thoughts. We're going to see what type of energy and actions are surrounding you. Then we'll clarify with the tarot and then I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all already know. It's Empress Meek, and I appreciate your likes, shares, and subscribes. I am here for a good time, honey. Not a long time, okay? I check on you from afar. Who that is? Hmm? Do you know? <laughs> Somebody definitely is keeping an eye on you. They asking about you or trying to peep what you're doing any way they can find out, okay? But they're not letting you know. I feel like this person is keeping it on the hush. I feel like it's guilt that's keeping them away. Or keeping them quiet. Something that they did. Something that you disagree with or do not like. You're always on their mind. Okay. Um, for some reason, maybe it could even be bad timing. Okay. It doesn't always have to be something terrible. No, it does not. Okay. Sometimes it's just bad timing. You know, not everybody has an effed up situation. Okay. All right. So this is how they're feeling. You're always on their mind. They check on you from afar. What else is this person thinking about Virgo or the Virgo is thinking about this person? Virgo, for some of y'all, y'all peep this person's page or check on them from afar too. Could be asking how they're doing. Oh, I just wanted to know, you know, I just wanted to check on them. It's not like I hate them or anything. It's just we can't, you know. So for some of y'all, you feel like that. For some of y'all, y'all don't even mention this person. <laughs> and they always thinking about you. Some of y'all can't stand when they come in your energy because you know it's them. And you're like, oh my God, give it a rest. You know what I mean? <laughs> I dive in and out of relationships. Okay. That may have been a turn off for you. Absolutely. What else is here from my Virgo? What other energies between them and their person? I'm intimidated by you. Okay. So somebody is afraid to tell you the truth. Somebody is afraid to show you their real face. Hmm. Okay. Also, you could be really quick with it, all right? You you quick on the draw. You're like, oh, you got an excuse for every day of the week, and I'm on it, okay? I got, I got a reason to stop it, too. So, Virgo, you're very much on this person's heels. Like, when they try to feed you excuses, play those stupid games, play dumb, and none of that works with you. So, it's just like all those stupid games, they do not work with you. So, this person don't know how to come at you. Um, I can tell them how to come at you. Correct. They could try that. You know what I mean? People play too much. Anyway, let's see what else. I miss you. Oh, that's why that Faith Evans song keep playing in my um, mind. I love you and I want you. You're the one that I live for and I can't take it anymore. Yeah, what? That's what I, that's what I keep hearing. Any more for Virgo before we clarify this message and see what else is around them? Anything else? There is a third party. So that's another thing that's holding you guys back. All right. Somebody is saying they can't take it no more, though. It's hard for them to resist. Um, they really want to come towards you, but they can't. But some of y'all, this person already has a person. And they are not happy in that, but they still have a person nevertheless. I feel like this is a person that believes in family and strong foundations. They do have morals, but it's not like they're dead. They still, you know, have attractions and they people catch their eye and things like that. Y'all see this money about to come my way. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hey. I know some people will be like, that hand me, you're going to spend it. Baby, every time my hand itch, I get it. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Right? That's that Virgo energy. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and tap in and see what else is here for you, Virgo. Let's see what else is um surrounding you. What other situations or what this situation situation might want to tell you. 
Um, I just saw the Fool card in one of my other decks. So this could be somebody that you met. Um, and I feel like they, I don't know why these people that are in relationships try to talk to single people, but I feel like they, you guys exchange numbers or something happened. You exchange some type of information, but it couldn't go anywhere because this person got somebody and I feel like you stopped them. You're like, look, I don't do that. I'm no home wrecker, male or female energy. We got cycles. Keep going through the same thing. Wake up, call, break the cycle, positive change. And I feel like this is what y'all trying to do. you like, no, this time I'm not going to feel sorry for them. This time I'm not going to feel like I'm Captain Save a Hole or Harlot, whatever one you're dealing with. Um, I don't know. Like, whatever, male or female um, garden tools. But I feel like, yeah, you're not going to, you're like, I'm not going to try to do that. No, I can't fix them. I'm less better do its job. And I'm going to sit here and just be cute and keep it real, real cute. I'm not going to do a whole lot. So I feel like you're not doing too much. You're just going to sit there and let things take its course. Um, For some of you, you're rejecting this because you want to break these cycles. You're tired of going through the same thing over and over again. And it's like, you know what it is. You're like, it's me. It's what I'm doing. And I'm, yeah, no, not this time. Okay, so they, they look they caught you on a bad day, a bad cycle, because you're not doing it. You're changing. I feel like you're changing a lot of things about yourself. Not only your looks and the way you do things overall, but I feel like you're changing your mind frame, the way you see certain situations and how you want to move about. You're getting a greater understanding of how the law of attraction works in karma. And so you're walking in that. Yeah. And some people don't you catching people off guard with it too. Because some people looking at you like, oh, okay. Virgo different, okay? <laughs> like, mature man, young, grounded, practical, self-made, ambitious, owns everything. So we're talking about a mature earth sign male here. Somebody that could be checking on you from afar, Virgo. Or Virgo, you're checking on somebody from afar. Um, there was a need to end the cycle, though. You're always on my mind. Keep going through the same thing, having a wake-up call. Somebody's going through um, a, an awakening. They're seeing things differently now. They're understanding what part they play in a certain situation, trying to move out or away from something. I dive in and out of relationships. Two came out. So I'm going to take the one that hit the board first. Snake in disguise. An enemy as a friend, disguised as a friend or a lover, a thief. Someone acts as if they don't, uh, somebody is acting like they care, but they don't. Wow. So this person has ulterior motives. They have something that they want from you. I dive in and out of relationships. So they're a snake. And I feel like it's a blessing. You know, this is what I mean by, um, well, this is what the saying means. But I mean, this is why I say this because it's true. Um, it's like God, uh, rejection is God's protection. I feel like that's why this isn't working. All right, because you're being protected. Sometimes these people know better. They're intimidated by you. They know they can't play with you like this. So I feel like they're not coming towards you, even though they're thinking about you, but they want to. But I feel like the dummies that fall for this, not, let me stop saying dummies, because some people just are, are just pure at heart, I guess, and they fall for it because it sounds good. But they get people all the time. Like they get people to intertwine with them in their cycle and their situationship or whatever, and then they discard them. And it's not going to work with you. They know that. I feel like your energy is big, big Virgo energy. And they feel it when they talk to you, when they were around you, or whatever. But somebody misses you. They miss your conversations. I feel like they love your energy. They love how you are. Pace. Slow down. Getting to know you. Let's see if we're compatible. So somebody really wants to get to know you. I feel like you're making this person slow down or you made this person slow down. For those of you who decided to talk to this person and you found out that they were a snake, you made them slow down. That's how you found out. A lot of you made them slow down because you felt yourself about to go on another one of these cycles and you were like, no, I'm getting off this emotional roller coaster. This is broke down, busted and disgusted. I don't have time for this. Somebody said no more emotional roller coaster for me. I don't have time. I don't want to get on the ride. I'm good. All right. So, yeah, this is sticking to my hand. Let's see what it is. Oh, my goodness. Heartbreak. Something you saw, painful, heart hurting, sad, depressed. So this is them. Depressed, missing you. They're feeling sad. 
maybe about their situation or their life or they yeah they're not happy in this relationship or whatever they're miserable to be honest i feel it they're like so miserable that's why they cheat that's why they lie that's why they try to sleep around because they don't like the person they're with but i feel like they have so much invested in that situation they gotta stay side piece nothing serious doesn't care about to be out the door all right so i feel like this side piece energy here is what they want you to be somebody wants you to be their side piece <laughs> i think that is hilarious y'all it sounds stupid even when i say it like somebody wants you to be their side piece <laughs> that sounds crazy it's like yeah all right there's a third party there's that person this is who they deal with it says heart locked yeah heart locked down so they already are intertwined with somebody they're already connected to somebody it says i'm not open for love but when i am you're going to need the combination so this person likes you a lot but do you really want to be the next person that they cheat on and run through i know i know but it won't be like that with me i don't know i'm different i'm special they gonna know like blah, blah, blah. i know i know how you feel but sometimes people like this do not change i can't lie to you sometimes they're like this i mean y'all ever seen like it could be a young a really young one that plays these kind of games and then you turn around and meet a really old one that play these same stupid games like some people just <sighs> i'm not going to use no mean metaphor even though i got tons of them y'all already know how virgos get down like i can't make you laugh but i'm not going to do it okay because you never know who's watching me and some for some people this is serious like it's hard for them to to change you know, to change their ways. I hate nothing about you. So this person is very much impressed with you. They see that your marriage material, but they're already in something. Now, I'm not saying that it's not a chance that you can meet somebody and actually change their mind about love, about being faithful, about anything. Because if they're ready, they're ready. So that's possible. You know, it is possible. But it's few and far between. You got to be careful. Eight of Cups in the moon here, life changes, relocation, spiritual quest. All right, so I feel like somebody is sad. They are walking away from you and they have to walk away from you, but they don't want to. Or you're walking away from somebody and you really didn't want to. You see the potential there, but you had to. Um, the moon, because it's an illusion to think that things will work with this person. Also, hidden truth. This person doesn't even tell you everything. They don't. They make you feel like you're the only one they're thinking about seeing on the side. But they do this. This is what they do. They just. It's hard for people like that to change. I mean, they'll tell you their soul. Let's see. Holy Spirit, holy angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. Clarify this message for Virgo and show Virgo what they need to know and how to move forward in this situation. Even though we already know, but show Virgo what they need to see about this energy surrounding them. Show me you're always on my mind. Who is this from and what's going on here? Something's telling me to change that. Hold on, guys. Let me get some faces on these cards. Look at this. You're like, mm-hmm. I see you. I see you right down there. You're like, oh, no, you're not about to get me. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Virgo, <laughs> you on it. And this person know you on it. That's why they're intimidated by you. They are. They're intimidated. And they really are treading lightly. They know not to bring that crap to you. They're emotionally unavailable. And they go and throw this love out to everybody. Like, they give you the, the superficial part of them like they give everybody else. Honestly, they're already emotionally connected to somebody. This person is still pulling on their heartstrings. No matter whether they want to leave them or not, they still playing these stupid games with them, making this person miserable. Some people feel like they can't do any better. Some people feel like they this is the better, the best they're going to get. Even if they meet other people, they, they're they afraid that somebody will treat them even worse than this person does. But I mean, God, like, whatever. Like, I don't know why you would stay in a situation that makes you miserable when you could just simply move on, you know? You could simply say, look, I don't want to do this anymore. I mean, it's nothing wrong with opening the can of worms and getting it kicked off so all the real feelings can come out because there's a reason why you feel like that, right? So why stay? And then you're going to try to recruit, I mean, you're going to try to recruit people to be on your team when you can't even give them anything, not even all of your time. Like, what kind of crap is that? 
Just focus on your situation. <laughs> Somebody is with a queen of swords in reverse. I feel like they want to get off this roller coaster ride. They want to get away from this person. The Queen of Swords in reverse, I feel like it's somebody who is very mad, angry all the time, cussing them out, being really rude, very disrespectful on this Cycles card. Show me you're always on my mind. It's an Emperor here. It could be an Aries, an older gentleman here. There's somebody here. This person could be a boss. They could work for themselves, all right? This person could be, yeah, an entrepreneur. An emperor. This person runs kingdoms. They have the they have the wisdom to run empires. Okay. Um, but yeah, the emperor card is very serious, okay? And I feel like this person is serious about what they want. But yeah, they're thinking about you. Show me what this emperor wants with my Virgo. They feel defeated. Because you don't I feel like you're not playing this game with them. You won't play their game. I check on you from afar. Wow, the devil in reverse. All right, so the devil in reverse. This is somebody who is rejecting somebody who they feel is toxic. This is the devil in reverse is rejecting toxicity. I feel like it can also be somebody with really, really bad habits. And I feel like... This person is trying to refuse being toxic. I feel like this person is trying their best not to go toward that energy. Yeah, this person could also feel trapped. Because the devil in reverse is also talking about somebody trapped as well. Um, and this could be somebody who is fearing being judged. They're fearing judgment. They don't want you to judge them. They don't want you to think anything bad about them. You know... I feel like they're because they're in the situation already. They could be married with the Emperor card here also. I dive in and out of relationships, third party situations, three of pentacles. Yeah, this is definitely probably an earth sign possibly that is married. Okay, they really can't offer you anything. <laughs> um, a snake in disguise. Look, justice. Um, I'm intimidated by you. This is where the justice card goes. And I feel like it's because they know you're a very fair person. You're not going to do that. I feel like you think about yourself and the other party, whether they like you or not, or whatever the case may be, you're still going to do things right. You believe in balanced karma, good karma, and you only want good karma in your life. So you're really not going to let anybody trick you into a situation where you'll be cursed or um, bring in bad karma on yourself, you know, or judgment, right? So this is what it's given. Page of Wands. This person is thinking about you passionately. I feel like somebody is definitely turned on by you. Um, yeah, but you. this is another reason why you're like, no. Like, you're immature. Like, uh-uh. <laughs> show, show me more. Show me um, what this earth sign is thinking about toward my Virgo. Or who is this earth sign? What, what are they doing here? They feel defeated, though. They feel defeated because they're in a relationship they want out of. This person could be spying on you online. They're looking at something. So you could have pictures, stories, or whatever. They're looking at you. They miss you. But they don't want you to think that they're a horrible person for wanting you. Because you know that they're married. Yeah. And you're like, I'm not doing any more emotional roller coaster rides. Uh-uh. I dive in and out of relationships. This person is emotionally unavailable. But they still do it. You know, they do it to get their own selfish pleasures instead of really having the courage to walk away from the situation that's not serving them. Show me justice here. I'm intimidated by you. Slow down. Yeah, because you made this person pump their brakes. Show me justice. Yeah, look at you. You like, uh-uh. Back the hell up. Get away from me. <laughs> you like, that snake ain't biting me. No, sorry, Bob. <laughs> All right, Virgo, you crack me up. Y'all be on it for real. I love my team. Y'all be on it, my soul tribe. Yeah, you said, nah, uh I got all the clarity I need. Spirit shine the light on this thing. Yeah, I'm divinely guided. And my intuition told me you reckless. Very much so.
rushing in, making decisions, not really thinking it through, and then bailing out because you already got that, always got that revolving door, which is called your wife's house or whatever, you know, or your husband's house. Like, no, there's somebody here that will run off in a heartbeat. And this says emperor, so it could be a male, but we also could be talking to a female here. Yeah, this person feels left out in the cold from this from this connection i feel like they feel soulmate energy with you like they know that it would be the jump off like they know it would be a whole vibe if they got a chance with the virgo but you like oh hell no don't even try it because you're married you're in a relationship so don't even come over here yes i will judge you because that's just nasty like and what is that saying about me if you want me to indulge in that that mean you don't really care nothing about me i feel like that's another reason why this person is showing you um, this level of respect and not playing with you because I really think they really do like you and I feel like whatever time they did spend with you plus they know look at this they know you're the magician boo they know you're a mystical being like you have energy you have power like they know that you have gifts so they like uh she gonna see everything I'm intending or he gonna see everything I'm planning to do because a lot of my men are intuitive too y'all like, don't need no cards y'all be reading the crap out of these people and they know it. They know you can read them because of the conversations you've had. So, yeah. They not making a decision. It's a stalemate. Mm-hmm. Because they like, man, I ain't about to get embarrassed by Virgo. Yeah, they're not. They keeping it a secret, though, how much they want you, how much they like you. They know you can see through this, though. They know it. Look at, y'all heard it. Y'all heard that phone? Like, yep. Yeah. They know it. So Virgo, this is a no, okay? This is a this stops right here type energy. Third party, there's a third party and you're aware of it. So boom, two of swords, ignoring this person. You're like, nope, I don't even pay them no mind. You said, I'm definitely not being a side piece. No, thank you. Goodbye, right? <laughs> Virgo, let's see what spirit wants to tell you. I love you so much. That's right, Virgo. Take care of yourself. Protect yourself. You're a beautiful vessel and people benefit from your warm and sound advice and your beautiful energy. So, yeah, stand firm, boo. Be patient. Trust the weight. Everything is coming together. Spirit said, I got you, boo. We working hard on the background. In the background. You know you hard to please, babe. So, we, we got you. <laughs> All right, Virgo, I love you. I'm about to go. I will tap into your energy tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for remembering to like the video. Or even the ones who are tapping in, getting on the video, liking it, and then go back out and watch it the other way. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for watching the video to the end as well. I will see you on the next one. Bye, my loves. Bye,